Hey, what is going on guys? It's the Alice Project here and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Imperium Romanum Let's Play in um, Millennium Dawn. My brain just died for a little second right there. So, uh, I think that in this episode we may actually go to war with NATO. Because uh, things are almost ready. And uh, we're gonna see how well we can fare against the strongest, quote-unquote, strongest military alliance in the world. All by ourselves, at least for a while. Um, I'm hoping that the Russians and the Chinese and the Indians join us soon, but uh, well, you never know. You never know. So we have a decent surplus of tanks. We're now getting a bit of a surplus um, on the light mechanized as well. The Asian? Okay. So the Chinese just made a faction with Vietnam. And let's see how long that lasts. Oh, they're still there. They're gonna leave eventually because these guys are fascists, these guys are communists. That doesn't work really, no. But yeah, I'm willing to think that I would be able to join their faction, but I don't know. Okay, so they've invited their puppets. Yep, yeah, Vietnam left. Alright, well now we have two freaking factions. Uh, CSDO and the A I E D U. And these guys are justifying against India. Good job, China. That's very smart of you. So I'm not going to join your faction. Because that would be suicidal for me. I'm not getting India against my own faction. Right, so I'm going to start justifying a war goal against France. Right now, this is the historical moment. Jacques Chirac. Right. Oh, actually, we, we can just declare war. I'm an idiot. Can literally just declare war. Uh, but yeah, I'll just then wait for these guys to be done. Whew, I'm kind of nervous here, but I think everything will go down fine. They're they're definitely not gonna naval invade me because these are level ten coastal forts and units with high defense, quite high defense. Obviously, I have the Air Force and the anti-air, and I've made Island, uh, I made I Island Italy, I mean, a very good fort, a very good fort. But yeah, I think they know what's go gonna happen soon, so they're regrouping. But yeah, soon we'll go to war. Actually, what's my infrastructure up there? Okay, it's quite good. Just because they don't want my troops to suffer attrition. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Hey, we filled out our enormous quantity of aircraft. How many do we have now? Like, how big is our air force? Uh, 5,338 planes. 181 divisions, 147 military factories, 107 civilian factories, and 2,000 convoys, and a navy of 142 ships. I'm satisfied. I am really satisfied with that. Very, very satisfied. So you guys have your missions? Yes, you do. Actually, did I? What? Oh, no, never mind. They're just stationed in why does the Vatican City have an air, air base, yet Rome doesn't have its own? GG. Smart. Right, these guys are going to be done in uh, how many days? All right, well, in 30 odd days, so a month. Oh boy, look at all these troops. I swear if they're not suffering attrition from all these pileups, it's, it's going to be retarded. China's going to go to war uh, with with India soon. Why are you improving relations with France? And why unfulfilled? Also, why the fuck am I importing stuff? Also, yeah, yeah. Why am I importing stuff? Why? Why am I importing stuff? I don't need to import stuff. Uh, 
I don't need to fucking import stuff anymore. Well, not as much as I did. So, yeah. Okay, now I do because these guys are not trading with me. Yeah, that could have helped me if I realized it before. <clears throat> but yeah. I'm just waiting for these guys to be fully armed and ready. And once they are, we can declare war on NATO. And may God have... Well, the gods, because we are the Roman Empire. May the gods have mercy on our soul. And that's improved. Can we improve artillery even more? Nope. Tanks. Well, we're still improving to this. Uh, okay. Can we improve our weaponry? Yes, we can. We should probably do that. We have a really, really good military. We're, we're great with everything. We're a superpower. But uh, I'm still worried. I'm still very worried. Because this is not an easy task. It's a very big gamble. It's a very big gamble. Now, where would it be the most suitable to take out... Okay, I can just take out Kurdistan, and if I can take Basra, that's great. That's, that means that the Turks, the Iraqis, and whoever else is in this pocket is dead. It's, it's like dead as a dodo. That would be a great victory, because then would, we would have uh, 20 plus 30... That, that would be 30 uh, light mechanized divisions that would just break into Turkey. Just smash into Turkey. No questions asked. I mean, they've they've died quite a bit uh, against Iraq. And they're already on... Uh, they're on extensive conscription. The Iraqis are on uh, all adult serfs, so that doesn't surprise me. The Croats are on scraping the barrel, so are the Hungarians. Uh, these are on extensive... Extensive. These smaller countries are all on uh, scraping the barrel. And that's not good for them, because once... If they throw themselves at me, they're gonna die in a painful... Oh! Dude, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait for the London Olympics to finish. And after that, <laughs> World War Three happens, because all relations are cut. And uh, let's give this guy a leader. Boop. Alright, you patrol the slightly easier... Why are you not being able to patrol? Are you not able to patrol? There, there. You go. Okay. Actually, uh, not this sea. This sea. This sea, and this sea. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> well, guys, I think it's about time. <laughs> oh boy. All right. All right. These guys are fully ready. Second of August, two thousand twelve. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so are we at war? I need to slow down the time. Two, one. Just wait for the NATO to pick up on the news. There we go. There we go. Oh, already. Right, we can invite... Oh, the British are already on our side. That's good to know. The British are willing to fight by our side. Okay, Brits. Well, welcome to the faction. Anyone else? Nope. Russia's like, I ain't having any of that. But the Brits are all for it. Okay, so... We're gonna start. Okay, Kurdistan's still not at war. Right, so that's kind of... That's a bummer. But uh, nobody said we... Okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, so, the attacks have started all along the perimeter. But... Uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck breaking through those. Um... We're just gonna slowly play it out because, as you can see, all right, the British are in. Ooh, that's a nasty attack. But I think we can hold right there. Yeah, I think we can hold. Uh, this is kind of all right. So they're they're okay. Russians want to send volunteers. How are we holding out here? E not easy. 
Why are the Slovenians so fucking good? I don't know if these guys are going to hold out anyway. Alright, so here we go. This line is holding well. This line's holding out okay. Uh, the southern sector is kind of... Okay, who... You're seriously telling me that somebody... They've already broken through uh, Lower Austria. Didn't we have it covered? Like, really? Seriously, man? Right, so now we kind of need to restructure all of this uh, after the initial assault. Right. They're attacking us here as well. Let's just see what do we have. So these guys are willing to... Let's just quickly check. Yeah, they've lost 11,000. These guys lost 1,000. Let's call the British in. Um, you lot... Uh, let's see if you guys can actually do something about this. Let's see if the counterattack does any good. Uh, now we need to address the situation that's developing uh, over down here. We're sending reinforcements there. Uh, the main issue is that they've broken through this line right here. That somebody left the frontier over here open, apparently. So I'm gonna need to send somebody to fix that. And I have nobody to fix that. Alright, let's actually take Corsica quickly. Let's make more Alpine divisions. Like 10. And uh, we need to send somebody to rescue the situation over here because they broke through a massive line. And how did they do that? Don't ask me. Yeah, attack there. Okay, the British are in. Yeah, they're just piling up against us. Right, take back Vienna, or try to anyway. These guys are all gonna hold quite well, I think. Right, send these guys up there. Alright, so the uh, line is stable. So you guys... Alright, so we're getting rid of the defensive line. Where, def where was your defensive line going from? So, uh, if I select you... You are all the way... Okay, from here. Alright, so this is your defensive line. I think. Like this. This is your defensive line. Or no, it's it's further. It's... Oh, that's actually yours is like all the way up. Okay. I'm just redoing this. So, from here all the way up to here, where we need to defend. Uh, the, okay, these guys are the defensive guys. Alright, you guys are going to have the perimeter. You need to restructure all of this. To here. Marines are doing a good job. Good job. You guys are going to have the sector. Um, obviously from here. Oh fuck, what did I do? Right, uh, you have the moderate sector, which is this. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so that should reshuffle the troops a bit, hopefully. So we're still holding out here quite well. I Oh, we have an encirclement already. How oh, sweet. Okay, we need to break through out of there. Macedonia joined NATO. That's nice. France is called in Macedonia. Alright, we need sufficient resources. Tungsten and steel. Alright, I cannot import more. I cannot import more. These guys are not even importing anything. I'm just gonna go fucking close economy. Fuck you all. How are these guys doing? These guys are doing great. We're pushing into southern France. 
These guys are in Corsica right now. How are we going on here? Alright, so they've called in Iraq, right? Yes, they are. Yes, they have. Alright, so we're going to push through here. And we're going to take Basra as well. Hopefully. I right, send in the Air Force. Send in the Air Force. We should be able to break through. Uh, why are you counterattacking? Who gave you the right to counterattack? Stop right there. Also, you stop. Nobody told you to attack. Right, so we are in uh, northern... We're in most Well, close to Mosul. We have almost taken Basra. Now let's see what's going on on this front. Uh, this breakthrough, I hope, goes well. Because we need to reshuffle the line a lot. We're still holding out here. I'm going to send these guys to reinforce this position. We're making a push down south. We ha we're going to take Corsica. The British have started the invasion of Spain. That's great. That's neat. Very good to hear. All right, I'll leave one division there. Four proceed. I'll leave, obviously, one division here. Two proceed. Basra has been taken. We may just have an encirclement right here. Um, these guys are holding. These guys are breaking apart. Let's see how we're doing so far. We lost 6k. They've lost a lot. But we still need more. And this breakthrough is not going well. Okay, just just break through. Get get these guys out of here, or not? Yeah, these guys are not going to get out. All right, these guys are not getting out. That's just wonderful. So the worst sector is over here. Um, yeah, that's not good. But I can, I think I have a solution if we pull all these guys back and solidify the line here, if we just ditch Austria. So I may just do that. I may just get all these guys and pull them back out of the Austria region, because Austria may just be a big encirclement. Just look at this. If we lose this pocket, we're screwed. Now, can I just please select you? Thank you. You guys are going to be a new command, under new command just for now. Until uh, I give you the line, everyone gets the hell back. Slowly but surely, set up a line over there. Okay. Uh, the push into southern France is going rather well. Uh, under very few losses, I presume. We have won a battle right there and right there. And uh, we have continued our advance towards... Um, what's this town? Kirkuk. Kirkuk, yeah. So, if we manage to encircle these guys, we're going to be successful. But And they're actually throwing more troops into the fray. Yes, please, send all the troops you can. Oh, we've lost Aleppo. We cannot have that. Secure Aleppo back. We cannot lose Aleppo. That's a significant strong point. Oh, fuck these. Okay, well, these guys just fucking ruined my defensive line. Well, you know what? You know what gets... Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and your mother and everyone. That's That was my defensive line. That was my defensive line that you just took. Ah, for fuck's sake. Alright, never mind. We'll just build a different line. Alright, so, uh, this line right here. Alright. Alright, alright, never mind. Just go back. Slowly and surely, okay? We need to keep this corridor open. We need to keep the corridor open. We'll be back to Austria one day. Alright, let's slowly retreat out of there. Slowly, I said coordinated withdrawal. Coordinated withdrawal. How are the British faring up? Okay, but they're, I think they've stopped for now. Uh, let's try and capitulate France quickly. Because our troops seem to be doing rather well over there. Uh, let's get... Oh, fuck. All right, I think I'm gonna end the episode actually right here. I'm just gonna promote this guy and put them in charge. Uh, this these guys are not letting me cross because 
They are assholes. I want to get to Kirkuk. You can just send more troops and die. I don't care. But, uh... Oh, Afghanistan wants to... <laughs> okay. Afghanistan. But yeah, we have uh, lost the first real engagement. And uh, we are pulling out of... We're pulling out of Austria. Because Austria is undefendable, it seems. I'm going to add these guys to... Right, we've taken Corsica. So right now, I am going to move all my troops to Gibraltar, if I can. Can I? Nope. Right, so uh, next plan is to launch a naval invasion from here to Barcelona. Um, what did I want to do? Yes. Okay, so which is it? Okay, you are attacking. Let's give you four more divisions. So that you have an easier time. Uh, but yeah, we're slowly pulling out of Austria. And uh, hopefully we'll have an encirclement in Iraq. I, I hope so. So far, the war is not going too terribly well in anyone's favor. We've lost 22k, the British have lost 11k. Uh, but we have killed enough. We have killed enough. But yeah, we'll see how things go. The breakthrough for France is doing is going incredibly well for now. So uh, we are kind of just making up for losing Austria by, uh, by taking the... Um, by taking the freaking whatever. And I need to change this guy's line from here to here, I think it was. Yes. But yeah, we're reshuffling the line. Our air force is probably getting swarmed and destroyed right here. Probably. Oh, actually, no, we've only lost 15. Um, but they've probably used reserves as well. Uh, can we... Do we have any multi-rolls that we can use? Um... Tack, 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 tack. Alright, let's get these multi-rolls. Just so we have something to cover our advance with. <clears throat> yeah, our breakthrough into France is going incredibly well. Uh, Guillermo, or Guillermo, Cusani is doing a good job. A smashing good job. Uh, these guys are not giving up. Right there, they're not giving up. So I may actually start a different route down here. Because this may be a softer underbelly. And if I just bypass this, it should all be okay. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.